and noodles, jelly and jam, figure skates, and ice hockey skates. While they have their similarities, they're all very different. Different. Sean is making it his mission to find out what some of those differences are in a segment he likes to call What's the difference? As a matter of fact, Sean joins us from Rise Up Coffee's East College location in Salisbury to explain the difference between cold brew coffee, iced coffee, and hot coffee. Sean, you're not going to come back vibrating from all the coffee, are you? I might, Jimmy. The funny thing is, I don't drink coffee, so any little bit of caffeine really gets me going. I'm here with Colin, who's the store manager here in Salisbury. Colin, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. So coffee has, you know, it's, it's safe to say it's been around for a long time. Uh, would you say, though, that it's increasing in popularity? Absolutely. We've noticed definitely here at Rise Up that coffee uh, is off the charts these days. In the past, it uh, kind of was like something that mom and dad drank. These days, we notice uh, a lot of college students here in our stores. We've introduced a new cafe on the campus. Uh, it's wildly successful and popular. Um, but definitely all age groups, everybody loves coffee. And it comes in all different varieties, and I want to talk about the differences between some of those varieties. Um, hot brew coffee, that's the one that everyone knows. Absolutely. So uh, hot brewed coffee is a medium ground coffee uh, brewed with hot water just straight into a pot. Um, it's filtered with just a regular paper filter. Uh, it's usually served somewhere close to 198, 200 degrees. Um, we How long does that take to brew? Uh, it takes between 7 and 10 minutes to brew. So not that long. That's why if you need it in the morning, Absolutely. turn on that co a yep. coffee pot. Uh, now moving to cold brew coffee. Sure. So there's quite a difference between the two. Absolutely. Uh, so cold brew is kind of a new innovation in, in the coffee industry. Uh, it's definitely new and popular. Um, cold brew iced coffee is an iced coffee that uh, is not heated. So uh, coarse ground beans, uh, we use a warm bloom here at Rise Up. So I was going to ask about the coffee beans. Are they the same in each type of coffee? For our hot coffees, we offer uh, our house roast and a seasonal. Uh, the seasonal rotates. Uh, right now it's our migration, which is an heirloom Nicaraguan bean. A friend of ours, Byron Corrales, uh, is the farmer of those beans. All of our beans here at Rise Up Coffee are organic and fair trade certified. And then with that cold brew, you do something really cool. You actually infuse it with the nitrogen as well. Absolutely. So we offer uh, nitro infused cold brew coffee. We use our cold brew. Uh, we have a system that infuses it with nitrogen. It actually gives you a nice creamy uh, tasting coffee without adding cream. So this is the cold brew. This is the cold brew with the nitrogen. And I can tell the difference. Again, I'm not a coffee drinker, but different level of creaminess. Um, last question. How long does it take to brew the cold brew versus the hot brew? You said the hot brew a couple minutes. Hot brew, brew is very quick. Yep, it takes about 7 to 10 minutes to brew a pot of hot coffee. Uh, and our cold brew coffee takes more than 24 hours. Colin, thank you so much. Absolutely. A lot of really good information. Jimmy and Lisa. I'm feeling it. It's going through my veins. I'm going to be bouncing off the walls in the studio. <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to deal with me much longer today. He's going to be getting a lot Send done today. Yeah, you can always bring some back, too. Oh, there you go. That never hurts.